All right, Michael. So there's an element here where we're putting ourselves as coaches in a position to be asked for the help we can give, to really find what that person wants, to mm. understand, <clears throat> excuse me, to understand what the real challenge is. There's some element here, though, of understanding what all we've already said yes to and how to navigate another yes. So the question that you have here at number six, it says, if you're saying yes to this, what are you saying no to? Yeah. And honestly, this question is the one that I need to learn the most or ask myself the most because I have that classic shiny object syndrome thing, which is like, oh, here's a new idea. Oh, here's a new idea. Oh, it, it kills me. And it kills me that I'm, I should know better. But, you know, I once heard strategy described as it's the ability to say no to the stuff we want to say yes to. And again, wow. it's about making clear what our choices are. And these days, there is nobody, nobody listening to this conversation who doesn't have enough to do. Thank We're you. all overwhelmed. Thank We're all stacked up. Yeah. Yeah. And you can't say yes to anything else. You just can't unless it comes with a strong no. Otherwise, it's an empty commitment. And what you're doing is you're just overstacking things. And this isn't just about productivity. This is just about a quality of life. And here's the thing, it is so hard to say no, <laughs> particularly to the stuff you want to say yes to. But in there lies that elegance, that focus, that momentum that we were talking about earlier on, which is you cannot pick up momentum if you've got a thousand little things pulling you this way and the other way. The way you get momentum is by clarity of direction. That's saying yes and it's saying no. I, I, I'm almost in awe here as I'm thinking to myself, and what else should I be saying no to? <laughs> Brilliant. So I, I love that you did that. I should have been doing that with all these questions. Which is, you know, and don't forget to keep asking and what else? Because, you know, the first time I go, okay, if you're saying yes to this, what should you say no to? The first thing will be obvious. Right. And then I go, but what else? Yeah. And you go, okay, oh, okay, there's this as well. Go, good, good. And what else? And I go, great. Okay. And, go, and what's the thing that you're holding on to that actually you still need to say no to? And now we're getting into a really interesting conversation where you're letting go not just the obvious stuff, but the stuff where you've got ego and pride and, and love and all sorts of stuff attached to, which is hard to say no to. But it's in service of that bigger yes that matters more. 